Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to defeat the uncollected mode, Red Guardian. He is the final boss of this month's event quest. Now, this video may help you fight him no matter where you find him, but I'm addressing the final boss of this month's event quest. So uh, you can see the nodes that you're going to have to face here. And I'll talk briefly about the nodes because they're going to play a big part in how you need to fight him. All right, so the first node, Blood in the Water. Basically, if you have a debuff on you, he's going to get a Fury, and that Fury is going to give him 200% more attack. So ideally, you don't want to face him with a debuff on you. Now, if you watch the fights uh, to come, I'm running full suicides. That's liquid courage and double edge. So that means that at the beginning of every fight, I'm going to have a poison debuff and a bleed debuff on me. Unless I'm using a champion that's either immune to them or, like Ghost, can phase it out and so she won't have any debuffs on her but as we'll see in this very first fight ghost he has something for ghost as well uh you have to play ghost a little bit differently she can do it but you just have to play her a little bit differently all right the next node is mighty charge i hate mighty charge i can't tell you how many times i have gotten wrecked with mighty charge because i forget and my muscle memory just kicks in they start to attack, I go to intercept, get wrecked. Hate it, okay? So you just have to remember about that mighty charge. If you're familiar, this is not a new node uh, with how to deal with mighty charge, uh, you should be okay. Just bait out his heavies. You know, you may have to take some block damage, um, but you know, you don't want to intercept him, that's all. Try to bait out those heavies if you can. And a word on those heavies. His heavies hit really hard. Keep in mind, I'm running uh, with uh, debuffs on me, so it's going to hit even harder. All right, so just a word of warning. Russian Resolve. If the defending Red Guardian's shield becomes fractured, its cooldown can't exceed 10 seconds. So why that's important. Uh, Red Guardian, as part of his abilities, you can take a look at them in the game. Every time his shield gets fractured, it takes longer and longer for it to recover. So if you're fighting a nice big boss battle like this one, and it goes on for, you know, a good length of time, you could get to the point ordinarily where his shield is going to be fractured for pretty much, uh, you know, the rest of the fight. But because of that node, that's not going to happen. All right, so 10 seconds is the most that you can expect his shield to be down. All right, and then finally you have Riot Shield. All right, he loses one durability um, if the shield, uh, from his shield, each time he's struck. Okay, now uh, we're going to take a look at a few fights, and I'm going to show you how you want to approach and how you want to fight this Red Guardian. All right, so this first fight is taken from my initial clear. So this is the first time I'm going up against Red Guardian, okay? So we go in here first with the hood. And the reason I did that, I wanted to, you know, get used to his animations, and um, I recommend you guys do that as well. Maybe go in with a champion uh, that you aren't really expecting to take him down with, but to get used to animations, how to evade his different attacks, uh, that sort of thing, and then go in with a stronger opponent. But look at how I got wrecked. Remember what I said, when you have a debuff on you, which I do with the hood, he's got both of them, he hits much harder. And you saw right there, what that means very quick fight very quick and easy victory for red guardian 
okay? Now, we're gonna go in with Ghost. Again, this is the first time I'm going in here with Ghost. And there's something I wanted you guys to see. Now, because of Mighty Charge, you'll notice that I wait for him to attack twice. That's what you need to do because of Mighty Charge. All right, I messed up there, got hit, but we're in good shape, not that bad, okay? I had already seen his, but look at that. Did you see what happened there? Now, he did not punish me this time. And why that happened is part of Red Guardian's abilities. When he has durability on that shield, and remember we were talking about the durability, uh, he has the ability to block unblockable attacks. It'll remove all of his um, un, you know, uh, durability from his shield, but he will block it. So that's something to keep in mind. So Ghost, you don't want to fire off her special two unless his shield is already fractured. Now, the other thing to note about Red Guardian in this fight is that when his shield goes down in durability, when it reaches zero, you're going to get stunned. So if you have a stun immune champion, that should help you out quite a bit. Um, there are quite a few counters for Red Guardian. But we're going to see here uh, a second attempt. This is during my exploration. I've already fought him, you know, once or twice. So you can see here I'm a little bit more uh, familiar with his animations. And so now I'm like, okay, I wasn't quite sure of his abilities because I hadn't looked at his abilities at this point. All right. And so I'm like, all right, let's see what that does. So it did it again. And boom, he punished me. And that's what he should have done the first time. We just got lucky. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, so you will get stunned. However, if you are executing a special attack, then you're not going to get stunned. Think about encroaching stun. Okay. So this fight, I went in with Venom the Duck. Now, I am a pro at fighting Red Guardian at this point. You know, got wrecked already. So now I brought in my Venom the Duck, six star. I didn't really ramp him up a whole lot. You could see the buffs that I had uh, at the beginning. All right. But here's what I'm doing. You look at that durability count. When it gets down to about one, fire off a special. You want to hit him with a special. Uh, if you can't hit him with a special, hit him with heavies to build up to a special and then hit him with the special all right you do not want to attack him with that um, durability down to one because as soon as you hit him it's going to go to zero and you're going to get stunned and he's going to wreck you okay so this fight becomes all about managing his durability charges okay so that is really the secret all of his abilities and everything um notwithstanding you want to watch those durabilities, and when it gets down to one, fire your special. Now, the reason that I say down to one and fire your special is because as long as you have um, a one, two hit uh, special, you should be okay. But say you have a champion that does multi-hits on their special, like say Blade. He does a lot of hits on his... Uh, special two for example so if you get him down you could get him down to three and fire your special off the goal is you want to be executing your special when that durability goes down to zero so you don't get stunned of course if you come in here with a stun immune champion you know uh you'll be okay all right so you saw that i took him down with Venom the Duck. Now we're going to see what Archangel can do. Now my Archangel is rank 4. Uh, I have toyed with the idea of taking him to rank 5. But look at what Archangel does to Red Guardian. He absolutely destroys him. Red Guardian has no immunities. He's not bleed or poison immune. Anytime you go up against anyone that's not bleed and poison immune... Think about Archangel, because chances are 
he can wreck them. All right. So destroy, absolutely destroy. The Archangel fight went faster and smoother than any of my others. So he is definitely among the top counters to this month's Red Guardian. All right. Now we're going to go in with Omega Red just because uh, my Omega Red is a six star. He's unawakened, but I took him to rank two. I had some cats expiring. You can look on my channel to see uh, what that rank up was all about. But because I'm running suicides, I have no regrets taking him up. But it also means that Red Guardian is going to have that extra attack for as long as the double edge, which is the bleed debuff, lasts. And you can see it's already gone. Bleed debuff, gone. Uh, the poison debuff, isn't applied because Omega Red is poison immune. So we're not dealing at this point in time with that extra attack. And at this point, all you're doing is watching those durability charges. When it gets down low enough, fire your special off so that it goes to zero while the special is executing and wash, rinse, and repeat. If you're down too low and you can't fire a special off, fire your heavies off. You want to try to bait out his heavies as much as possible. Avoid his heavy attack. All I can tell you is it hurts. You saw I got one shot with that heavy attack. So be careful. Just be familiar with his animations. Okay. That uh, is pretty much how you fight Red Guardian. Uh, nothing too difficult as long as you know how to fight him. All right, a brief synopsis on how to fight Red Guardian. So when his durability charges go down to zero, he will stun you, all right? So if you come in here with a stun immune champion, you can ignore that particular mechanic. However, if you're not coming in here with a stun immune champion, you need to watch those durability charges. When they get down to about one, you want to fire a special attack off because you won't get stunned during the special attack. Think encroaching stun if you're familiar with that node. Uh, you saw how I got wrecked with Ghost because I forgot and I hit him when his durability was one. It went to zero. I got stunned and he wrecked me. So don't do that. Uh, he's not bleed or poison immune, so champions that can do either or both work just fine. Archangel, I consider to be one of the best counters. He just absolutely wrecks Red Guardian. But you don't really need a particular counter if you follow that particular strategy. When it goes down to one, then fire your special off. Now, if you don't have enough for a special, then fire heavy attacks off. Heavy attacks do not reduce his durability. So say you're under a bar of power and you're trapped. Well, you can still parry him. You can still stun him and fire your heavies until you have enough for a bar of power. Now, once his shield is fractured, you're going to have a cooldown period where you can be as aggressive and just go ham on him. So that is what you want to do. Once the shield goes down to zero, you've executed a special or your stun immune, you're going to have at least uh, 10 seconds or no more than 10 seconds, thanks to the node, of attack time where you don't have to worry about counting the durability charges. So fire the special off and then be as aggressive and go ham. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found it informative and useful. Hopefully it helps you defeat Red Guardian in this month's event quest. So leave a comment. Let me know if you have any other tips or tricks, maybe some other champions that work really good against Red Guardian. Uh, definitely leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't given me a subscription already, give me a subscription. I would very much appreciate it. All right, so take care. And you all have a blessed day.